Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a playroom uh, organization makeover. It's pretty much it. When we moved into our house back in May, we have been here for seven months. I never really prioritized the playroom because first of all, it's a mess half the time anyways. It gets destroyed almost every day. I do and have always wanted to create a really cute little playroom and the older they get, the less of a mess it will be and I'm going to teach my girls how to stay organized and stay nice and clean and neat and tidy because I think that's a really important thing to have in life. Our playroom is downstairs and it shares uh, like a room with our kind of entertainment slash man cave, whatever you want to call it area. Right in here I have stuff that I have been gathering up the past like week or so. Also for this video I want to say thank you so much to Taz Toys for sponsoring today's video. I'm so excited about this. This is actually a TP tent that we are going to be setting up for the girls. It is so freaking cute. I wanted to get the perfect um, teepee tent for them. I think they're so cute. And also, my girls love tents, any type of tent. Graceland and Hazel both. So I'm going to come down here and show you guys what it looks like right now. So obviously, this is real life. This is just what has happened with them playing in here. I have a four-year-old and a one-year-old. So, you know, they like to make big messes. But this is what our playroom looks like we have so much storage down here which is absolutely amazing i really have struggled organizing these closets and figuring out exactly what i want to do so i got some new organization for the closets as well the first order of business in this is um getting rid of toys and donating them so i kind of already discussed with Graceland what she wanted and didn't want to keep her top thing she's asking for for Christmas is a new like Barbie house. So she has um, hope that she's going to get one. So she said that we can go ahead and get rid of this. Ugh, I don't even know where to start. This is honestly going to be a really long process because not only am I decluttering, I'm trying to organize a tired, cranky baby. I think this girl needs to stick now. I'm going to go put her for a nap and then I'm going to start her ending. So obviously the first thing I did was just get this giant house out of here. This thing took up so much room. It was honestly, it's really big. And then I kind of just went through the toys on the ground and it was honestly a huge cluttered mess. So I started with getting the new basket I had bought and I was going to be putting stuffed animals in here. So I just went through all the stuffed animals, took out the stuff that I didn't think we needed anymore or that they liked or played with, and then just put the ones that we're gonna keep in the basket. When you have such a huge mess like this where everything's just mixed all together, you really have to think out how you're going to sort everything out. So basically what I did is I just, I knew the bottom shelf was going to be Hazel's shelf. So I put all of Hazel's toys on that shelf and then I just started by taking everything out of the closet and kind of just throwing it in a big pile and then sorting from there. Once I got everything out of the closet, then I would organize it into piles and then be able to put it back into the closet more organized. I really wanted to have like an empty slate to work with. I was taking out this bar right here because it was really unnecessary and I'm actually going to use this for the other closet to hang like costumes and stuff in there or whatever it would be just have extra hanging space because the bar in that closet was just it was not useful it was in the way of the shelves actually so now that i did have empty shelves i kind of started to organize and the stuff that i could just plop on the shelves like those sets of blocks the train set now i'm gonna whip out the new organization i really wanted bins that they could see in i think it's really helpful to kind of prevent messes when your child can see in the bin rather than those ones I have on the right right there they would have to pull those out and look at them and there's been several times where Graceland has dumped the entire bin out to find something and when you can kind of see when they're see-through like this it's a lot easier for them to find exactly what they're looking for and I feel like it's gonna help with messes or at least I hope so so I was taking these bins um I got the lighter pink ones from 
TJ Maxx and then the darker pink ones from Target. And I basically just used these strictly to organize Graceland's Barbie stuff. She had them originally in that like gray bin right there, just all chucked in there. That is where we kept her Barbie stuff. But since she does love Barbies and it's like her number one toy that she likes to play with, I went ahead and I organized the Barbie accessories, the Barbie like more Barbie accessories, I guess, the clothing, all of that, and then the Barbies themselves. And then I did like her play doctor toys. She has a lot of those. She loves the doctor toys. And then also her play food. That is what I ended up organizing in those bins. And it's honestly her like top items that she plays with. So it ended up working out perfectly, the amount of bins I got. So then I went ahead and I organized all the rest of the toys that were down there into like a throw out pile, the donate pile, and then the toys that they don't really play with that much went in these other pink and green bins. Maybe like some toys I wanted to save for Hazel or just some toys that they don't play with every single day I put in these bins. So I got their little main area all cleared out and I'm just gonna vacuum cause boy, let me tell you, there were lots of crumbs down there. So getting the floor clean so that I can go ahead and kind of redo the whole layout of their playroom. So I ended up moving things around a lot, honestly. I wasn't sure where I wanted anything, but I got her this, well, it's for both of them, but I got them this new bean bag. And as you can see, Graceland clearly was really happy about it. It actually ended up getting too late the night before. So this is the next day I'm continuing. And right now I'm gonna be setting up the teepee tent. Graceland was actually at school while I was setting this up. So I was really excited to surprise her when she got home. As you can see, the tent came in this really cool bag. So if you wanna take it down and either store it away or take it somewhere else with you, you can easily do that with the bag, which I thought was neat. So I was just gonna go ahead and assemble this tent. It was actually really easy to put together the instructions were super easy to follow and they actually made it so much more easier like the way that they have the instructions it actually made sense like honestly the best instruction set I have ever had because the way they worded things was really smart on their end and it made it super easy um, for me to understand how to put it together Now it was time to get Graceland from school and surprise her. So this was the first thing she came home to and she was so happy. Hazel even wanted to join in on the fun. And I know these girls are gonna have so much fun in this tent together. Cause like I said, they are tent lovers. Like I mentioned earlier in this video, I was gonna be moving stuff around a lot cause I didn't really know where I wanted stuff. So I ended up moving the chair and stuff because I wanted to put the teepee in this corner. I thought it would look really cute right there. A nice feature on this is that you can roll up the uh, opening to it so that it's nice and open and you can see in. And there's also two really cute little windows that you can roll them up so that the windows are you know, open or you can roll them back down. And then we went ahead and decorated it. The tent does come with these really cute lights. These are so adorable and I think it makes the tent so much cuter and like so much more cozier. I love these little cute lights. So I let Graceland go ahead and hang them wherever she wanted and she did a pretty good job. I'm actually really proud of her. So naturally Graceland wanted to play. So I actually ended up making it a lot more cozy for her. I put like a blanket down and pillows and just made it nice and cozy, which resulted in us pretending that we were going camping and that there were werewolves outside that were going to get us, so we had to hide from them. Another really cute thing that we discovered is that there's these two little pockets inside the tent, which were perfect for her little animals that she brought in here, and she was saying that these were their sleeping bags. It was so cute. Also, check out the cozy vibes in here. Like, it was just really nice and cozy. I honestly want to come down here and just chill by myself sometimes. I'm kind of jealous. Bye, babe. <laughs> See you in the morning, guys. <laughs>
the lights on here do also twinkle there's an option to have them like twinkle or to just stay regular and it also came with this really cute feather decor the whole thing is just so cute so if you guys are looking for christmas ideas for your kids i will have all of the info for this tb10 down below you can also get an exclusive five percent coupon when purchasing this on amazon so go ahead and go and get one if you are looking for any Christmas ideas for any kids in your life. I promise you cannot go wrong with this. And of course, a little bit later, I believe this was later that night. Uh, nothing can ever get done in one go. I went ahead and I just uh, command stripped the big picture that I had that was going to go on the wall and I ended up hanging that up and also a couple other things that I wanted to get hung up. Last time I filmed was literally weeks ago I'm pretty sure it was a month at this point but now everything is actually it's not finished but I just want to finish this video there's only one more thing I want to do I did move a lot of stuff around I changed things from the last time I filmed because I just did like a montage of everything but this is like the final tour of what this I guess the whole downstairs turned out like but more so the playroom the playroom is done this side of our downstairs, like the little entertainment area, whatever you want to call it. I don't really know if it's ever going to get touched. Side note, I am sick, if you cannot tell. My eyes are super red, my face is super flush, and um, I'm really stuffed up. Sorry about the lighting, the sun is not really that bright today outside. So artificial lighting it is. I actually think maybe if I turn this on, Okay, that helped a little bit. This is just what it looks like. And this is when you're looking in to the playroom when you first come downstairs. I'll just start on this wall right here. I got those two frames, which I showed in a vlog. Those are from Love Every. Um, I will have links to as much as I can down below, but I thought those were perfect because they're cute little animals and they also go with the colorful theme of the playroom. I was just going with colorful, Kind of pastels you know if you get the gist i wasn't really going with just one thing i just wanted colorful and i guess animals too we have our little fish tank which we have had this since last christmas i got this off amazon for i think it was 100 bucks and it's been awesome hazel loves it grayson loves it and it's just something fun that we have in here for them to look at on this ledge i love this ledge that we have we have the ledges going all the way across. I just have these little book um, holders. I don't know, they're originally like were shelves that you hang on the wall, but I just decided to set them up here. I have these little book like holders that I was gonna spray paint pink and I'm pretty sure I'm still going to. I just haven't gotten around to spray painting. We got our little target dog. So I have the A and then I have the Z all the way down here. Another little shelf. These are from Target dollar section. I believe they were three bucks each. Those were free, the A and the Z. They were from my mom's house. I don't know if she gave them to me. I got these cute little animal guys. Actually, my mom got these for us when we first moved in. They are from the Target dollar section as well. And they're just a bunch of different, like, cute, fun colored little animals. Grayson kind of gave this one a haircut. I kind of wish I got three of these maybe i will someday but i messed up the wall so bad behind those down here we have the tp which i showed from taz toys and they have been loving it it's so much fun i just kind of like decorated it and made it more cozy in here i added a body pillow to kind of help keep like the shape of the tp these two pillows are from target dollar section and the flamingo blanket i get questions about this all the time i've had it for years but it is from Burlington. They always have cute blankets like this at Burlington. So if you're looking for one, try Burlington. Oh my gosh, I'm so out of breath because I'm so sick and I cannot breathe. 
And then I also just folded up some blankets in here. And then this down here, this little basket I got from Target. This is where I keep all the stuffed animals. They both love playing with stuffed animals. So that's a good spot for them. And then this is the little toy chest. Fun fact, this is mine from when I was a little kid. So this has been around for quite some time. I'm pretty sure it's been repainted, but it's straight out of like the 90s, early 2000s. And I freaking love it. This is just where I keep all of their puzzles. So it fits the Melissa and Doug ones perfectly. There's like so many down there. And then also just like some of these writing pads, more puzzles. These are like smaller puzzles down there. But this thing is basically just full of puzzles and it's the perfect little chest um, to put them in. Also, you can sit on it too because it's a little bench. I used to have this um, at the end of my bed, I'm pretty sure, when I was little. And then Gracelyn did for Christmas, if you saw our Christmas vlog, she did get her new Barbie house. She has been loving this and it's so cute. Honestly, I didn't expect it to match, but like it actually matches with like the pastel pink and blue color. And I think it like goes really well with everything else. And then over here, we have our two closets. I have these signs. These are also from Target Dollar Section. Check out Target Dollar Section because they always have some cute stuff. I had like this collection in the dollar section and I bought a lot of it and my mom bought a lot of it. So I got really lucky because I knew I wanted to do the playroom like these colors. I just wasn't ready to do it yet because it just wasn't a priority, but I'm glad I bought it and I held on to it because it was very inexpensive and it, it ended up looking really good and going good together. And then just in the middle, I have this sign that I actually got when I was pregnant with Gracelyn. This was gifted to me, but I love it. It says she believed she could, so she did. Next to the closet over here, we have the little playroom sign. I believe my mom got this at Mark's for like two bucks or something ridiculous. It was so cheap. In this corner right here by the door, there's this little basket. This is from Target a long time ago, actually, when Grayson was like a baby. And we just keep like little balls and stuff in there. And then over on this wall, this is like the crafting area. So we have their little play kitchen, which this is so old and junky. I would love to get them a new one, maybe next Christmas. We have these cute little like blender coffee toaster set. My mom got this for Graceland. I don't, I don't know where she got this from, like Burlington or something a couple years back. Really cute and fun. And then this is the rainbow sign. Originally I had it over here, but I just decided it looked way better right here. So when it gets dark, you can just flip it on. Let's let it adjust. It's a cool neon. It's very neon. You can't even see it. And then we have the really cute map. I was so happy when I found this. It literally goes perfect. This I got from TJ Maxx for $39. Crazy deal because it's pretty darn big. It takes up a lot of the room on this wall. But as you can see, the colors are perfect. The pink, the blues. And then I love it because it has all of like the things that you'll find in these areas of the world, which is very fun. and educational. <laughs> I hung up these little things right here that you can like clip artwork onto and these are also part of that collection from the Target dollar section. I think they were like a dollar, maybe they were three dollars each, I'm not sure. But they were from there and I just have some of her like artwork and writing books and stuff that she can do hanging on there. And then down here, this is a table that I found on Facebook Marketplace. So I actually already have that table in our garage. I had that table when I was a little kid and my mom has held on to it like this whole time. Um, it is a table straight from like the 90s, early 2000s, I'm not really sure. But I've had a lot of you guys say that you had that table when you were a kid and it brought, brought back a lot of memories. So I was so happy when I found that someone was selling the table with the matching chairs because I did not have the matching chairs. I only had the table that my mom gave me. Like she didn't have the chairs to it anymore. So when I found that, the guy was selling it for 40 and I was like, will you just sell me the chairs? And he's like, you can just have the whole thing for 20 bucks. Obviously it's a disaster. 
It has a bunch of marks on it and it's really gross, but I do plan, which I haven't gotten around to it yet because the weather has just not been good. It's winter here, it's snowing, it's raining constantly. So it hasn't been good weather for me to work outside on a table to like sand it and <sighs> spray paint it and all that. It needs to be good weather. So eventually I want to, you know, paint this. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do with it. So it's pretty beat up, like it's very beat up, but it is, such a cute table and like I said before it brings back a lot of memories. I found this really light blush pink which is the perfect color. It matches everything really well. I found this at Target and I like it because it's chalked and chalk paint goes on really well even when you have like a rough surface. I'm gonna try and sand it though. What? Yeah in a minute we can play it okay. I just plan to paint the wood. I was going to stain it, but I'm like, I'm not going to go there. I'm not even going to go there. I have bad luck with staining. So I'm going to paint the wood part, the pink color, and I'm going to keep the white, the white, but I'm going to just put like a fresh coat over the whole thing. So it'll look really cute and it'll go a lot better um, in here with everything once it's painted. And then over here, just like in the corner, I have this little cute bean bag. I got it from Walmart. It was like 30 bucks. Land of make believe. And her little doll's just sitting on there right now. Okay, so moving on to the closet. Graceland already opened these up. So, you guys know I struggled with organization with this. And this is about the best it's getting. Basically, down here is where I keep all the Barbie stuff. Like her Barbie car, camper, boat, the ice cream shop. There's Barbie cars behind there. All of that stuff. This bottom shelf, I made Hazel's because she can easily access it. So any of her toys are just on this shelf. And then this shelf, Hazel cannot reach, but Graceland can reach. So I made this Graceland's shelf. And this is where all the organization came in. I had mentioned where these ones are from, but I just recently got these off of Amazon. It was like a six pack for 20 something bucks, which these are really nice because they're perfect size for little toys like this, or maybe Legos, or blocks, whatever it would be. They actually are so nice, and they stack together, and also they like clip on and clip off, and they also have a handle. So these are really nice. I'll have these linked, of course, but I did get these because after Christmas, she got so many little accessories with all her stuff. This stuff drives me crazy, but um, she loves it, so I gotta make it work. So in here, we have her Barbies, all of her Barbies, and like little tiny dolls are in here. This is little Barbie accessories, Barbie accessories, Barbie clothes, more Barbie accessories. This is like the Our Generation doll accessories, the stuff that came in like the ambulance truck and whatever comes with the doll in the box. More Barbie, like, little Chelsea things, the smaller Barbies, the kid ones. These are all the accessories that go to that. So these are doctor things. Yes, these you are doctor doctor things in here, play doctor stuff. And then we have like the fake food is all in there. This shelf right here, we have these bins. I've had these for a while now. Um, they used to be in Graceland's room, but I did get these from Target and they do match very well. Since we have a lot of random toys, this is where I put Whoa there, whoa there, whoa there, whoa there. This is where I put all of the random stuff. These two bins are random. And then over here, this is like animals and stuff. And then down here is cars and trucks. This is the stuff that she doesn't really play with that much, but I don't want to get rid of it for Hazel to play with when she's a little bit older. So we're just gonna keep it. What do you want, honey? Candyland. Candyland? Yeah. Okay. The plethora of mini toys. There's a lot of mini toys. Grayson had an obsession with mini toys for a minute, so we just kind of have them all <laughs> organized right here. And then you go up a shelf, we have a blocks, train set, we have some extra stuffed animals that they really just don't pay attention to, but I don't want to get rid of them. I did get rid of a lot of stuffed animals though. And then you go up to the top shelf, there is like games, flashcards, some educational stuff, the Lincoln Log toys. Um, in this box, which is the light shining, that is some more like educational arts and crafts, 
We have Mr. Potato Head, her piggy bank, and then some slime. So it's really random up there, but I mean, it's just how it has to be. This is an overview of the closet. It is like so stuffed and packed, but this is the most organized it's gonna get because I went through everything and I got rid of stuff that they didn't play with, I didn't think they needed, and this is what we ended up with. And then we have the next closet over here, which this one's honestly even worse. <laughs> So in this closet, I call this like the overfill closet. Oh my God, these are so unorganized, but like I don't know what else, I don't know what else to do. This is just how it's gonna have to look. So we keep like extra toys that they don't play with as much in here. This is a new toy Hazel got for Christmas. Her emergency truck, the ball pit, the tunnel, the tents, all of that. This is arts and crafts over here. Yeah, these are projects that I keep that Graceland makes like at school and stuff. Play dresses, costumes, all that are all in these bins. These are like random bids I just had from when I like lived in my apartment, I don't even know. I just had them so I just threw the play stuff in here and then more toys that have not been opened or aren't really played with that much. And then there's just like random stuff up there that's honestly irrelevant. So that is what is in this closet. Over this way, like I said, this is just like Patrick's area. And then I did just wanna show um, the couch that we got because I'm like really happy about this. So somebody I know, actually it was my brother's um, piano teacher, she was selling this couch on Facebook Marketplace for $50. And it is a really nice and comfy, clean couch. I did clean it though after I brought it home. I'm very sketchy about buying stuff used, especially furniture. If you do watch my vlogs, we did try and move our old couch that we had um, when we lived at our old house as like the smaller one. We tried to move it down here when we first got our new couch upstairs and it would not fit in our doorways, but this one actually did fit. So when I saw it on Marketplace for 50 bucks, cause we've been wanting something to sit on down here, especially cause I would come down here and like play with them and then I'd wanna like sit and relax for a minute. There was nowhere to sit. We couldn't hang out together at night cause sometimes Patrick and I like hang out together down here. Graceland's just setting up Candy Lane cause we are going to play uh, Candy Land. I said Candy Lane, <laughs> Candy Land after this. Yes, I will be blue. And it fits so perfect down here. As you can see, it fits right on the rug space. There's room for the little cubicle. And everything else just fits really good. This is just unattractive over here, but that's just what it has to look like because we have to put the router and stuff right there or else our internet won't work. That is it for the finished playroom uh, entertainment man cave second third living area. I don't know, we have a lot of living space in our house, which I'm very grateful for. But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you got some inspiration to maybe like declutter toys, donate toys, sell them even, you can sell them, make some money. Facebook Marketplace, I'm telling you guys, like I said, I will have everything linked down below. Make sure to subscribe to me if you're not already and turn on the notification bells to get notified for all my videos. And that is gonna be it. Thank you guys so much again and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.